All right, we're back here. I'm Alexis with the Barely News Crew. We're going to go with our top 10 TV shows of the year. Kyle, take it away. Okay, number 10. I'm cheating, but uh, okay. Sharknado, okay? What? Uh, what was, is this? There was a lot of hype about this, and I'm like this. I saw it on TV. I'm like that. This was why, so fake. This was like what? what why was not? I clicked it and I loved every bit of it's it. Like, it's like it's uh, like <laughs> our our friend Ed Valdez over in love with the mer- the mermaids. So the, but the, no, the Sharknado. I mean Sharknado. It was it was a pre- it was a terribly good movie. Terribly good movie. It was a terribly good in movie. In a TV show section. It, yeah, but <laughs> hey, it's TV. It came out in TV, so I put yes. it in there. Uh, number nine. I, I hated the show at first, but then it grew on me. Regular show. Wow. On a on Cartoon Network. I, really? I love this show. It has that surreal humor and all that stuff. Pretty much like uh like the Monty Python okay. era. Um number eight is the late late show with Craig Ferguson. Interesting. Uh because I mean he really blew up this year. I mean he he, he really got some good skits in this year. Mm-hmm. Um number seven, uh Marvel's Agents of Shield. Um it really put I mean it, it's a good tie in with all the Marvel cinematic universe. Mm-hmm. Um number six, the crazy ones. I mean come on, Robin Williams in a show. I mean come on, that that is just it, it it's funny. Wow. It's a really, really funny show. I love this show. Uh number five, Team Coco with uh of course the Conan O'Brien show. The best comedian on, on air right now besides Jon Stewart. Mm. Amazing. He, he He's legitimately it's hilarious, funny. He, yeah. Um, number four, despite all the all the controversy that's running Recent this show. Recent controversy, but well popular. Uh, Duck Dynasty. Duck Dynasty. Funny, funny show. Funny as hell. Uh, number three, Adventure Time from Cartoon Network. I mean, it's just... Well Somebody written. had to be high when they made that series. No, but um. <laughs> overall, it's a great show. I mean, you follow the structure of the show. I mean, it's not designed to make sense, but that's what I love about this show. And number number two, two The Big Bang Theory. You love this show. I, I love this show It's a lot. your religion to watch that. Yeah, I, I mean, I watch it every Thursday. Besides your number one, which is? The Walking Dead. Wow. The Walking Dead is my all-time... I mean, right now, it's my all-time favorite TV show, period. You know, we're at the point where that's, it's the new Breaking Bad, essentially, in terms mm-hmm. of the ratings, and it's just breaking out. I want to know what my top ten list is, right? Okay, well, let's list it off. I don't. My... <laughs> Come on. Top ten. For all you people who say that The Voice is the best singing competition, well, I have some news for you. Name me one winner of that show who has gone on to be successful... Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. American Idol is my top 10, is my is number 10 here, and let me tell you why. American Idol, to this day, is the only competition singing show that has produced any winners, okay? And every year, the show has the best talent. You have to, you can't really deny it for what it says. And I'm really excited this next year. We have three new judges, and, and the chemistry just feels amazing. I know this year we had a train wreck with Mariah Carey and Nicki Minaj at each other throughout the whole time. Yeah, you do not want to see that. But great talent. Love this show. Number nine, The Office ended this year. I had, I love this show. It was I love the whole randomness to it, the creativity and everything. Steve Carell even came back for the finale. The finale was amazing in this one. You gotta see The Office, man. And Dwight, you gotta can't deny Dwight. Number eight, The Daily Show with John Stewart. I love John Stewart. He's so I mean, if you're a political like uh, geek like I am, you're gonna love you know all the references and you, John Stewart, even if you don't know the political references, you get the intention of it. Funny as hell, Jon Stewart. Number seven, Hardball with Chris Matthews on MSNBC. This is the ultimate show. If you're, if you're, it's a, it's the liberal version of the O'Reilly Factor. Chris Matthews is very insightful. He has the best political analysis. Watch him. My favorite political show of the year. Number six, Love It or List It on HGTV. Yes, I will admit it. I was so into HGTV this year, and Love It or List It. Has been, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You know, if it wasn't for HGTV, Studio A wouldn't be here, okay? So, yeah, you had to think. Would, but no, it wouldn't. I wouldn't know how to put all this together. Come on. Number five. <laughs> look, yeah, number five, you can't deny this is the huge, the biggest reality hit series ever, Duck Dynasty. If you've not seen this, you will laugh your head off with this show. I mean, it feels like it's scripted, and probably mostly, my might, might, most likely is. But even if it's not... Wow, this show. You will... I could spend hours and hours watching this great show. Number four, The Big Bang Theory. Uh. Jim Parsons, Johnny Galecki, 
Uh, Kelly Cuoco, all the cast in this one, you're gonna and Sheldon Cooper, the breakout character here. He's winning all the most of the awards in his lead act for this one. You can't deny I mean, this show. His, it's his the biggest fifth comedy. Year right of now. recognition for this show. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Number three, Marvel's Agents of Shield, my favorite new show of the year. I love this show. Mm-hmm. It's like my version of Law and Order or whatever you want to call it, but it's so Except Marvel. With superheroes. Yes, yeah, so with superheroes. I mean, not necessarily, but uh, Phil Coulson, I mean, he's back from the Dead from the Avengers. You're going to want to see this Clark movie. Clark Gregg, this, right? uh, Yeah, Clark Gregg is back. And that mid season finale, amazing. I can't wait to see when it comes. I got to see that. Number two, my favorite comedy of the year, slightly edging up Big Bang Theory, Modern Family. I think this is really the show of our time. And even in its fifth season, it's still great. The writing feels new. It's so innovative it's so great and this one best comedy at the emmys four years in a row i pre- predict it will win five years number one show of my year my beloved I, this is a, the, the the show that i have to say that i've loved at every episode of it and i've loved this for five years it, it's you might be surprised it's star wars the clone wars that aired on cartoon network had five critically acclaimed seasons and honestly my favorite series probably ever it brought it, it kept star wars alive even after the era of the prequels into this day and even though it ended we're going to get more episodes just a side note it ended not because it, it was canceled but because there was a contractual thing with cartoon network and disney but i'm gonna message to death i can't wait for these new episodes and i want to i want to go off with you because your equivalent to my star wars is the walking dead walking dead man you love this sort of death. you never stop talking about it Come uh, on, this is, even though you know zilch about this show yeah. i mean it, i know i have some idea what it is it, yeah but overall it's a great show i mean the whole factor is i mean if you haven't watched my last pick of the week you gotta watch that that was got, a really good you segment. gotta you gotta listen to that uh but i love the fact that it's not the i mean if you know the show it's not the zombies it's they're that, not the main point of it that's even the though you, you're believed to be that that's not the main point. it's not it's not the main point i mean it Overall, it's the main enemy is the survivors themselves. Yes. I mean, uh-huh. that's the main enemy. It's not. It's not the walkers at well, all. What I like about your top show and my top show, even though we disagree on well, you like this one, I like this one, but I would, I would, for my analysis, both of our favorite shows this year had the recurring theme. Every season, the writing gets better. Mm-hmm. Marvelous, and it's just like you wouldn't even believe it. And I have to say, um, what any last words for your closing show? What uh, do you want to say about it? Uh, Come on, guys, nominate The yeah. Walking Dead. I haven't seen it. Come on, Breaking Bad's out of the way. Nominate The Walking Dead. Come on, Golden Globes, Emmys, Please, Critics Choice. Come on, you're I making Kyle cry here. You, you, are. you literally made him cry when I told him the nominees and The Walking Dead was absent. Please. Okay, Please. kind of getting creepy here. Um, but for my my show was nominated for an Emmy and it did win. Like an you're Emmy. not creepy. I'm kidding. My show, Star Wars The Clone Wars, was nominated for three Emmys and it won. It gave George Lucas his very first Emmy and I'm so proud of the show. And I like can't, he needs any more awards on the on. shelf. And I can't wait to see the conclusion of this series. We love TV shows, we love songs, and we love movies. This is the Barely News crew, so guys. Turn on the boob tube and uh, stay tuned for 2014.